first, Evan. Right now I'm joined by Boston Power player and top agent out of the Beacon Hill Back Bay market, Kevin Caulfield from Coldwell Banker. Kevin, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me. Now, we're wrapping up 2014 here, heading into 2015. I can't believe we can even say that. I know. Uh, what is the pulse right now on the downtown Boston market? So I'd say it's still very much a seller's market. Um, in a balanced market, we like to see you know about six months of available inventory. Right now, Back Bay, Beacon, Beacon Hill, we're running at under two months in both markets. Wow. So there's still just, there's not, there's not a lot out there for people to look at. So when we look back at 2014, inventory was an issue and still remains an issue as we head into the new year. Yeah, inventory has been low, you know, throughout the year and it's been, it's been tough for buyers to get into the market and find opportunities or just find a home. Um, the competition for homes has been, yeah, it's, been strong throughout the year. You get into multiple bid situations, and I see that carrying over into 2015. Now, when you're showing your buyers different parts of downtown Boston, are there any specific markets that you see kind of like as as hot spots or markets that are red hot? I think you know there's there's a lot of buzz around the seaport. There's a lot of continue. There's a lot of development going on there now. There'll be a lot of continued development for the years to come. Um, <coughs> Midtown area, downtown crossing. You know, Millennium Tower is going up there. There's over 450 units, and I think it's about 50% sold at this point. Um, and then there's also, you know, there's a lot of smaller projects that are going on in the south end. And, you know, it seems that those units are, are selling out. They're running, I think, below a month of available inventory now. And those units seem to move pretty quickly as well. A lot of them will move, you know, before the buildings are even complete. So those developers that are thinking about bringing these new rental projects into the city, they should probably think about building them as condos. I, I think some of them are. You know, I think people are really reassessing uh, their projects, and part of the part of that also is due to the fact that there are a lot of rental units that are coming available, and even some of the buildings that have come online this year. I mean, there's some really good options for people and some good deals out there with months free and parking and everything else and and I think there's just you know all of a sudden we've just got a big shot of rental inventory and the market you know the market's not responding to that. Great information Kevin and if you're in the market to buy or sell your property in downtown Boston and would like to reach out to Kevin directly you can go to his website at kevincaufield.com and remember, we have more buyer and seller tips and market updates right here below on Boston.com.